Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where today I thought we'd take a very quick look at uh, one of these great Ankylos Sudokus and look at a way we might be able to start it. So those of you familiar with um, the site that uh, publishes these puzzles will know that quite often they are brutally hard and even getting one number in the grid can be a challenge. Um, and I was doing this puzzle uh, just this morning and it, I noticed a very sweet way into it that I thought it might might be useful to share. So how to start this puzzle? Well, where I started to look was at this 3x3 three three block here. You can see we have a 6 cage, an 11 cage, and a 15 cage. So quick bit of mental arithmetic. Um, we know that those cages sum to 32. So we know these three cells here must sum up to 13 because we know the total cage will sum to 45. Now, if these three cages or the cells sum to 13 and they're part of an 8 cage and a 17 cage, then we know that these sort of cells on the edge of uh, this 8 and 17 cage are going to have to sum to 12 because we know that the total is going to be 25 for the whole, the whole five cells. We know these central ones are 13. So we know this cell and this cell sum up to 12. And you might think, well, yeah, how, how is that useful? Well, believe it or not, it actually limits this 8 quite seriously because once you know, these two have to sum to 12, this can't be a 1 and it can't be a 2 because then we can't get to 12 no matter, no matter how big we make this cell here. So it can be a 3, and that would make that one a 9. It can't be a 4 because that would give us another 4 in this 8 cage. It could be a 5, that would give that a 7 there. It can't be a 6, because if it's a 6, then this would be a 6 too, because we know this um, this cell has to sum to 12, so it can't be a 6, and it can be a 7. So we end up with this arrangement, and let's just fill in the alternatives for this other cell of the 8 cage, which would be these numbers. Now, if you ever get to this situation, I advise you to pause and think very hard about the nature of the numbers that you've identified because you might immediately spot that they're all odd and in the numbers 1 to 9 there are 5 odd numbers obviously 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 now we've already got 3 of them but this is now quite interesting if we add these 7 cells up we've got an 8 cage, a 17 cage and an 11 cage so that sums to 36 so we know these two cells here sum up to 9 in order to make the row add to 45 altogether. So we've got effectively a 9 cage here and an 11 cage over here. Now the interesting thing about numbers 9 and 11 are they are odd. How can you make an odd number uh, if it's the sum of two digits? Well the only way is if one of the numbers making up the total is odd. So you, you have to add an odd number and an even number together in order to get an odd number. So we know this cage will contain exactly one odd number. We know this cage will contain exactly one odd number. What does that mean? Well, it means this, these two cells here cannot be odd because we'd already have used up all five of our odd numbers in, in, in row one. So these two have to be even. Now, how do you make up how do you make these two cells an even number? And this is really rather lovely because whatever value we choose for this, let's just pick a value, let's say this is 5. We then know these two cells have to sum to 12 using only even numbers. So the only way of doing that would be 4 and 8. Let's remember that. Now, if on the other hand this is a 7, these two cells would have to add to 10. So that now you could have 2 and 8 or 4 and 6. This is 9, these two have to add to 8 now, the only way would be with a 2 and a 6. Now the interesting thing about all of those options is that they either contained a 2 or they contained a 4. You can test it again if you like, but every single option there involved one of those two numbers. Now what does that mean? Well this 6 gauge now cannot be of the variety 2, 4, 2, 4, because that's going to create a clash. 
So this six cage has to in fact be one and five. And there's your start. That gives you this number, this number, this number, this number, and a whole load of other numbers too. And the puzzle actually becomes quite easy from that point forward. So a bit of parity there on that first row, um, and a little trick with the odd numbers, and all of a sudden the puzzle is cracked. And I thought that was quite a nice piece of logic, so we should do a little video on it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. We really appreciate it. And see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic.